Welcome to the University of Toronto's Convocation Hall and your virtual Fall Convocation Ceremony. U of T Class of 2021, congratulations, we've done it! We are here as your campus ambassadors representing UTSC, St. George and UTM to honour you on this special occasion. On behalf of all students, we want to say how inspired we are by you, the graduating class of 2021. We know how hard you've worked to earn your degree, so congratulations on this academic achievement. From wherever you're watching this ceremony around the globe, we hope you will enjoy this special day. Now, let's get to the convocation ceremony. We wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. We are also grateful to have the opportunity to celebrate the achievements of our scholars who graduate today. On their behalf, let us express gratitude for the support of their families and friends and for the faculty and staff who have guided them in their pursuit of knowledge. Whatever our own traditions, let us reflect as we proceed through the convocation ceremony on the many years of effort, sacrifice, and success that have brought us to this time of celebration. In Concolium Universitatis Torontonensis Vocati Somus. In signissime cancellaria. Presento tibi hosce scolaris, ut admitantur ad gradus varios, testorque eos coad omnia quae statuta requirunt aptos ed idoneos esse. At perfectum huies provinciae, huies quap magnae patriae, et a perfectum omnium nationum, omnibus interis conjunctarum, ago ex sacatoritate mihi et toti, universitate camisal. Admito vos a grados varios, quarum hora vobisdo, et peto quoqua ut omnia, 
confictiatas munera qua et illos gradus pertinent. On behalf of the University of Toronto and by virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby admit all those candidates not here present to their degrees in absentia. My name is Merrick Gertler, and it is my great privilege to serve the University of Toronto as its 16th president. Today, I have the additional privilege of assisting Chancellor Rose Patton in conducting this convocation. The university is an institution with deep historical roots and many enduring traditions. Among those is our use of the language of the medieval university in today's wonderful celebration. For those joining us today who, like me, are less than fluent in Latin, a translation may be helpful. For my part, I said, most distinguished chancellor, I present to you these scholars that they may be admitted to the various degrees. And I bear witness that as far as all things which the statutes require, they are fit and suitable. Much more significantly from the standpoint of the graduating class, the chancellor then replied, to the benefit of this province, this great country, and to the worldwide community of nations, I, by the authority vested in me and in the whole university, admit you to your various degrees, grant to you the rights, and ask of you the responsibilities of doing all those things which pertain to those degrees. And so, as my first order of business, I am delighted to salute you, the graduating class of November 2021. That's it, you're done. Warmest congratulations. I would also like to bid a warm welcome to everyone who has joined us online from around the globe to witness today's ceremony. Last year, for the first time in our 193-year history, we conferred all degrees in absentia, meaning conferred on those not able to be present. And today, this approach is still required by public health directives in the province of Ontario to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Today, graduates, the University of Toronto is formally recognizing your hard work, your accomplishments, your perseverance, and this milestone. Each of you, as a member of the graduating class, is joining an extraordinary family of University of Toronto alumni. They number more than 600,000 in over 190 countries around the world. They are the university's living legacy and our greatest ambassadors. U of T alumni serve in leadership roles in every corner of the globe and in every walk of life. They are prime ministers, justices, scholars, authors, community and business leaders, and professionals of every description. Their endeavors have shaped the world we live in and the way we understand that world. We have no doubt that the University of Toronto's high international standing can be attributed to generations of dedicated and very talented faculty and staff members. But we also understand that this reputation has been built by our alumni, a group that now includes each and every one of you. So to the graduating class, let me say thank you. Thank you for your many contributions to the university while you were a student. And thank you for what you will do as members of Canada's largest and, I believe, most distinguished alumni community. One more word of thanks is in order. I'm sure all graduates share a sense of gratitude to the friends and family members who have helped bring them to this special day. And so I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and thank all those who have supported our graduates during their time at the University of Toronto. Once again, warmest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to say a few words about our convocation speaker today, Mr. Lesra Martin. Mr. Martin is a leading civil lawyer, motivational speaker, and writer who is best known for helping to bring about the release of former boxer Reuben Hurricane Carter. He is also an outstanding example of the power in each of us to make a difference. His life's journey from a poorly educated Brooklyn teen to a respected prosecutor has inspired millions through the major Hollywood feature, The Hurricane. He has been invited to speak before the General Assembly at the United Nations, where he gave an impassioned speech about the devastating effects of illiteracy and poverty. 
He has been featured in dozens of newspapers and magazines and on countless television and radio shows, most notably The Oprah Winfrey Show and Larry King Live. A graduate of U of T's Innes College, he established the Lesra Martin Student Changemaker Award to recognize those who affect change for black lives using creativity and innovation. Mr. Martin, I now invite you to deliver your address. Chancellor, President, Class of 2021, family and friends, thank you for having me join you today. Most importantly, to the Class of 2021, I want to say congratulations on completing this ever so important chapter of your journey. Let me start out by telling you this. A pandemic may have taken away how you celebrate, but it has not taken away the significance of this great event. And I want to take this time to lend my voice to help buoy you up during these unprecedented times. Your academic achievement is a momentous occasion worth celebrating. You have earned the acknowledgement. And that is why when I was asked to wave the University of Toronto flag and to take my turn today to carry the torch, I readily agreed. But I gotta tell you something. Little did I know that agreeing to do so would cause me to be reflective in the most fundamental of ways. Bear with me for a moment, if you don't mind, while I share personally with you. When I was first asked to speak here at this event, I found myself immediately thinking about my grandmother. She died a few years ago, you see, at the age of 102. Yep, a little more than half the age of the university itself. I reflected on how she was a single parent with no formal academic education. I thought about how she worked as a maid. She told me once how she made a promise to herself that she would do whatever it took to build and enable a better life for her children. I found myself reflecting on how much I could count on going to visit her and finding a fresh bowl of fruit and mixed nuts just for me, ready to dig on in. Most importantly, I recall how she made me believe that anything was possible. I remembered how reliable she was, how strong she was. I have come to recognize, you see, that I had my start by standing on her shoulders, reaching up and grabbing the reins of hope offered by my university, the University of Toronto. Words were never spoken at that moment per se when we entered into this unbeknownst contract of education. But to this day, I feel that the University of Toronto made me a promise, a promise that if I took hold of what it was selling, that I would find security and stability in a great foundation. And if I had commitment, that I would be bestowed with the transformative benefits of an outstanding education. And let me tell you, I didn't take that belief in that contract, that feeling of a promise lightly, and U of T didn't let me down. And because each and every one of you are here today celebrating this great milestone, I know you were not let down either. You see, you are now part of a history, a university steeped in tradition, a tradition which I have to say I am very proud to be part of, particularly when I think about the many fields of service, the significant influences U of T graduates have made in law, in medicine, in the sciences, in marine biology, in dentistry, and in various other branches of health sciences like occupational therapy and physiotherapy. And let's not forget the arts and history and the list goes on and on. It is inspirational to stop and think about the generations of families across this country that have gone to the University of Toronto. It is no wonder that this university is part of the fabric of Canada. People that have gone on and graduated from University of Toronto have helped Canada develop and take shape. And now you, as U of T alumni, are part of this historic fabric. And I think that is wonderful. Today, you are being inducted into a distinguished group of alumni, like me, if I have to say so myself, from the University of Toronto, and I think that is truly awesome. Whether you have decided to continue on with further studies 
or plan to join the workforce, the need for you now to lend your voices, contribute your knowledge, is perhaps more needed now than ever before, as we all venture together into a new, somewhat unknown world. Tackling issues such as climate change, gender equality, racial and cultural equity, indigenous reconciliation, and a pandemic, just to name a few, is well beyond the scope of one single individual. It is going to take a collective effort, and it is incumbent on you, and even vital, that you take the reins on this charge. In so doing, let me encourage just this. Don't be afraid to take some risk along the way. Be brave. Where you start does not mean that that is where you will necessarily end up. The world might seem upside down right now, but you can help make things right side up. Be flexible and open. Continue to educate yourself. Know and trust that your academic accomplishment at the University of Toronto is proof positive that you have what it takes, that you have the tools to launch. You are eminently prepared to look for and root out opportunities where you can be part of the solution, where you can make the difference and be the change maker. You got this. And from where I'm standing, I would entrust this job to no one else other than each and every one of you. So I say, congratulations once again, class of 2021. As University of Toronto alumni, don't be shy about showing the way, leading the way, and being the way. As proud ambassadors, continue to carry the torch loud and proud. And remember, Lesra says, on behalf of the University of Toronto, transformative magic is within and bestowed upon you. You got this. And I'm out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Martin, for your thoughtful and inspiring words to our graduates. As we conclude our virtual convocation ceremony, I wish to thank all of you for joining us and to offer a final heartfelt congratulations to each member of the graduating class. I would like to thank Chancellor Rose Patton for presiding over today's ceremony. Mr. Brian Lawson, chair of the university's governing council for serving as Beadle and student governors, Ms. Mazina Nofal and Mr. Andrew Chen for serving as Esquires. I would also like to thank U of T alumnus, Mr. David Simon, who served as organist. I now invite the chancellor to bring today's ceremony to a close. Each year when our students graduate, the University of Toronto community is united in celebration. The class of 2021 has given us all a very special reason to hope. In meeting the historic challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, you have demonstrated exemplary courage, perseverance, and generosity. These are the qualities of leadership that we need in our society, now more than ever. We're so proud to count you among the global community of alumni of the University of Toronto. And now, as I bring this convocation ceremony to a close, I hope we will see you often in the years to come. And I invite you to stay connected. We will be very interested in your journey, and we know you will make an impact for the better in whatever path you choose. Conquilium dimissum est.
Congratulations to all our graduates on behalf of the Faculty of Applied Science and Engineering. This is your day, Class of 2021. May our milestone bring joy to you and your loved ones. The John H. Daniels Faculty of Architecture, Landscape and Design celebrates the Class of 2021. The Faculty of Arts and Science celebrates your success. Congratulations, U of T grads. Innis College wishes all of our graduates a very successful future. Be proud of your accomplishments, Class of 2021. New College is delighted to share in the excitement of today's milestone. Congrats to U of T's newest alumni. Congratulations to the Class of 2021. The University of St. Michael's College wishes you all the best in your future endeavors. Trinity College is proud to celebrate this day with you. Your hard work and dedication has been realized, Class of 2021. Congratulations on this remarkable accomplishment. You've worked hard and University College couldn't be any prouder. Warmest congratulations on achieving this milestone. Victoria University salutes the graduates of 2021. Congratulations to the Class of 2021 from Woodworth College. We are delighted to celebrate your achievements today. Heartfelt congratulations from the Faculty of Dentistry. Here's to U of T's Class of 2021. You've done it, Class of 2021. The Monk School of Global Affairs and Public Policy offers best wishes and congratulations to U of T graduates. You've worked hard to reach this wonderful milestone. The School of Graduate Studies extends its best wishes and congratulations to the Class of 2021. The Faculty of Information is proud to celebrate the achievements of the Class of 2021. This is your day, graduates. Congratulations, the Faculty of Kinesiology and Physical Education is so proud of all that you've achieved. Cheers to you on this incredible feat. The Faculty of Law salutes the Class of 2021. Congratulations today, and we wish you great success. Congratulations, University of Toronto grads. The Rotman School of Management salutes your success. On behalf of the Temerty Faculty of Medicine, I would like to wish the Class of 2021 all the best. Congratulations. Sincere congratulations on all your success. The Faculty of Music couldn't be happier for all of its graduates. Today marks an exceptional milestone. Congratulations and best wishes on behalf of the Lawrence S. Bloomberg Faculty of Nursing. It's an honor to share in such an important day. The Ontario Institute for Studies and Education wishes you success in everything that you do. You've done it, U of T grads. Congratulations on your exceptional success. You've made us all proud at the Leslie Dan Faculty of Pharmacy. We are delighted to pay tribute to the class of 2021. The Dalla Lana School of Public Health congratulates all of the U of T graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2021 from the Faculty of Montage Faculty of Social Work. I hope that you reflect on this accomplishment with great pride. We are delighted to celebrate this wonderful milestone with the class of 2021. Congratulations on behalf of the University of Toronto Mississauga. I have no doubt that the class of 2021 will continue to accomplish great things. Sincerest congratulations from the University of Toronto Scarborough.